I am pissed off <laughs> that this was not nominated for an Oscar. Yeah. Not even for it. Yeah, I know. And these people were snubbed as, as actors. Uh, the other thought that went through my mind. It pisses me off. And I'll... Back to our stupid reactions, the idiots. I'm Corbin Miles. That's with me as always is Rick Siegel. How do you do? If you're new to our channel, go and smash the like button, subscribe, and ring that little bell to be part of the notification squall. <gasps> <laughs> and please follow us on our various social media platforms. We highly appreciate it. Instagram, Twitter. And we have now watched our second wow. film from India. We're amazing. I know. Be proud of us. Clap we for are. us. Uh, <laughs> but we watched um, the movie Pink, when it came out in 2016. Teen. Correct. The first one we watched was uh, Three Idiots. I'll link that right here. Loved it. Loved it. This is a very different film. Yeah, this one, <laughs> yeah, this one's kind of hard to say all is well. Yeah. Right? <laughs> very different. Yeah, yeah, very different film. So, um, what did you think of it? I thought it was fantastic. Mm -hmm. I thought the script was really freaking great. Yeah. I thought the writing was just, the, the thing that went through my mind while I was watching it was, it's like a stick of dynamite. When you light a stick of dynamite with a long fuse, it just sizzles and sizzles mm -hmm. and you know something's coming and you know something's coming and then you get, toward the end of the courtroom, you get some explosive stuff going on in the yeah, courtroom. That, um, the, the thing that struck me most about this film, um, outside the subject matter, which um, we'll get to, <laughs> yeah. uh, was, the, was the acting. Yep. Everyone in this film was amazing. I, every, especially the main old guy. I can't yes. pronounce any of their names. We will, I, I may butcher this as well as I can get to them. It's, I believe it's Amitabh Bakchan. Okay. Uh, and then the, the, the three men, especially the main girl who yes. is the accused. The accused. Was brilliant. brilliant. And I am pissed off <laughs> that this was not nominated for an Oscar. Yeah. Not even for it. Yeah, I know. And these people were snubbed as, as actors. Uh, the other thought that went through my mind. It pisses me off. And I'll be posting this at some point on my Instagram or my Twitter. Please follow us there. Yeah. Did we say that already? <laughs> <laughs> um, is this. Mm. Besides the dynamite analogy, this sentence kept going through my head watching this thing. Some of the greatest acting you could ever see is being done by people you've never known. I know. But here in America, but we have, yeah. us, I've, us. I, I've heard some of the these best acting, are... yeah, you've ever seen is being done by actors it you've never was known. Freaking brilliant. Um, my, uh, I'll get into other stuff more. My biggest issue with it is I found out after because I wanted to know. The director is male. I thought about that too. And also, the three writers are all males. Right. So there was not a single female right. writing this story that is told from a female's perspective. Right. And that not saying a male can't tell that story. But right. To ha you need to have. I think it's very important to have a female perspective somewhere, whether it's writing which, or directing. Which they very well may have had that in the collaborative process and other people who were involved with the production, and I see the other side of that coin as well, because yes, I would have loved to have seen that this was directed by a woman or one of the screenwriters was a woman, but it is good to see that there are men who are telling oh, yeah. this story. No doubt, so no doubt. I'm not saying point. that the, the film was fantastic. I yeah. loved it. If, it, if if it was nominated for an Oscar, I would have put it almost at the top. That was the same year The Revenant came out. Um, yeah, that, which is amazing, because that was the same year The Revenant came out, and the whole Me Too, mm -hmm. Time's Up movement was really just starting to gain some legging. Yeah. And this is this could this is as relevant now as it was. The fact that it, two it years hasn't ago. been big in the United States is makes me mad mad. Because this if it came out now, would win the Oscar. For this year? Just, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Hundred percent. Yeah. It would have been the best movie of the year. It, it was amazing. Um, the I think that it, it almost broke my heart in so many places. Oh man. Uh, I don't know. I've watched did you I've lot did you cry? No. <laughs> 
No. Of course you didn't cry. <laughs> no. No. I, I You'd have to rip out my toenails and. Uh, There's only basically two ways you can make me teary. Dogs. Dogs. There you go. And military. Yeah. Kill, and so yeah. make a movie about the death of a military dog. They didn't they have that. They did, and you would no, you refused to, refuse to go see it. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, the um, the. The parts in it that just really broke your heart was, I think a lot of it was... Spoilers, by the way, here we go. Yes, obviously. Yeah. Uh, a lot of it was cultural, too. The yes. fact that a lot of these women were looking down uh, when they were being spoken to... Mm. Break oh, my great observation. Uh, <laughs> and I, I don't know if that's a cultural thing, if it's still a cultural thing, or if it was just heightened, if they were just ashamed right. um, of all this stuff. But it broke my heart that they couldn't just stare people in the face as equals. And then obviously all the connotations that... I loved the points the the guy made, the lawyer made, that he was like, and the first, the book. Yeah, the first book of how the you, women. You can't smile. Right. You can't drink. And if a woman has a drink, then she's you, obviously easy. You can't go out. Yeah. And you can't do all the, just if you're a woman. Yes. Men, you, you can do whatever you want because right. that's your birthright. Right, of course. Uh, but no, you can't have, even the guy who was accused, he was like, my sister would never drink. And all like, you know, I, I know some of this is cultural and different and all that kind of stuff. But coming from America, that would just piss me the hell off. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and the fact that even... And living, uh, just, and living on their own. And it was such a great point when sh the woman lied and said they did take money. Oh, that was amazing. And then she was like, does it matter? Right. Even if I am a prostitute, if I, if say, I say no, no regardless of if we're in the middle of sex... If I say no at it's any no. point, it is done. I loved it when he said that too toward yeah. the end. And I'm getting emotional right now thinking mm -hmm. about that ending scene, especially because with the backstory on that where we don't know, and I love that we don't know this. We don't know his backstory. We don't know if he and his wife had daughters. Yeah. Maybe they had daughters I was and lost them. I was wondering. Yeah. And it, you was, know? it was nice you didn't know, but I still wanted to know. I wanted that too. But the fact that I didn't made it even more powerful because I was trying to figure out what is... What motivates this guy to want to come out of his retirement to help these girls? And how's that linked to the loss of his wife? Because he says at one point, if a daughter says no, if a girl says no, if a wife says no. And he had a little bit of, a, there was a weightiness to the way he said that. That was just brilliant and powerful. And the yeah. writing again, off the charts, yeah. fantastic it writing. incredible. Yeah. I, uh, I actually enjoyed this film, even though it's very different than more than Three Idiots. It's more my style of For sure. very actor-driven, very uh, all dialogue-driven yeah. film, and I, I love those. Obviously, you can watch Three Idiots more than you can right. watch a film like yeah. this. Yeah, Three Idiots too. is the one. Let's grab the popcorn, yeah. grab the family, and sit down <laughs> and have a good time. This but is this okay, one, everybody. Time to sit down and, and yeah, let's this is an level film. Yeah, and that I'm still pissed off that it has been snubbed. Um, it, it didn't even get a foreign film nod. I know, and I am. Flabbergasted. I know. <laughs> it did not get a, even a foreign I, film. Uh, and casting no aspersions upon Alfonso Cuaron and all of those stuff going on with Roma, I like this a lot more than I like Roma. Oh, yeah. But granted, not the same year. This yeah. is 2016. But I bet if we compared this to all the stuff in 2016, this would still be top notch, yeah. way at the top I mean, of the list. Would, I would put it in uh, the Best Picture nomination uh, category. Period. It was, it was the, year, the year The Revenant came out. I believe it was 2016. Of all those films that year, this should have been in those yeah. in that ten category uh, for sure. There was definitely more, but yeah, the um, it it just really spoke to me, and then the fact that obviously the the way these women felt during this trial, and that they were basically put down right <laughs> by a society. I thought the judge did an amazing job. Yeah, uh, he he did really well, and so did the, so the prosecuting attorney. Prosecuting, yeah. I mean, you hated him, and that's his job that you were supposed to. He did a great job. He did a. <laughs> He did a phenomenal job. Yep. Um, but the, just the, the way when she had to speak on if she was a virgin or not, uh, the fact that that's so shameful to talk about. Um, in, in, I don't know if it still is in that society. I don't know if this is a heightened or what year it yeah. was taken. But um, the, it, just, it, it just really broke my heart. <laughs> I, do know, I do know a little trivia about this is that I think it's the region, the same part of India where this takes place. If it's not, forgive me. But I know there's a police station that made the police officers watch this film to be more sensitive to women. Mm. Which is I wish fantastic. And that it, I think it also had a screening at the United Nations. And I just How do we get all that and not get an Oscar nomination? And how is it not or, or not even let's let's just forget past the Oscar nomination. Why is it 
that for you and I who are such movie lovers, actors, care so much about film, why is it that we're just finding out about this now when we're almost three years after this came out? Mm -hmm. What's wrong with this picture? Yeah, I don't know. So something's wrong with that picture that, that in Los Angeles, actors in Hollywood who love motion pictures are just now finding out about this. And I don't think it says something about us in particular, although we are freaking stupid. <laughs> I think it says a lot about the film industry as a whole. And I would love to see the film industry in America open its eyes a little bit broader because I guarantee you, if this kind of stuff is coming out of India, there's gotta be some stuff coming from other countries that we're missing as well. Oh yeah. And the, uh, and the more of the Indian stuff that I watch, the more I'm realizing some of the greatest performances you've ever seen are being done by actors you've never known. Yeah, and I'm hoping they get opportunities if they want them in Hollywood as well to come over and do yeah. different things. Uh, I hope they, and, Holly, at least inner Hollywood recognizes these people. Absolutely. Um, I feel like I've seen the pros the, the defendant, uh, the old guy with the beard. Sagal. Yeah, I think yeah. I've seen him before. I'm <laughs> sure we have. He is considered, the research that I did, He's like considered the greatest actor of the century, really, for India. Wow. Yeah, yeah, well, and he's hate. known. He's known all over the place. He has. He he sings as well. Oh, does he? He's also. He's been in politics before. Mm. Um, Renaissance man, kind of a guy. But as far as his well, acting, he was, he was freaking. Brilliant. He's like a legend in. He was in so Indian small. Cinema. And yes, yeah, that's the word. So much stuff going through. So his small. Head yes. That you're like, what is, like when he was like, no, no further questions, no further. I was like, what are you doing? Are you? I didn't know if he was like throwing it. I didn't know. And I loved what how he was doing how creepy he was at the beginning. Oh yeah, he was really creepy. It was like, why are you just staring at these girls with your freaking mask on, you creeper? Yeah, he was a creep. The the trailer made it seem <laughs> that he was the villain. Right. Almost. Exactly. And that's what I thought from the trailer. I thought, is this going to be the guy that prosecutes these girls, and we're yeah. going to hate this guy? Yeah. Um, but. but they did so much. The director, thank you so much. And this is the writers as well, and probably the cinematographer. You told us so much without saying anything. Mm -hmm. So much of this was communicated. Oh yeah, when she when she came home and when after she got molested. Yes. And then she and got into the shower. She said nothing. Yes. And it was all facial and she just got just, into the shower. Yes. It was such a brilliant scene. Absolutely. Uh, it was beautiful. And and the moment uh, where he's just sitting next to his wife. Oh yeah. There's so many just little silent moments that said way more than they could have ever said with with yeah, dialogue and the brilliant. script was still so so good i this is one i'm gonna watch with my family oh, yeah. this just i think everybody in america should watch should it, watch honestly. it it's absolutely amazing. amazing so thank you for the recommendation yeah again yeah it was a we're getting to a brilliant one where you're we're getting, getting to, to them. Them. <laughs> we are uh going to be watching gully boy yeah in theaters. in theaters so this will be our first india film in a theater format right down the street on on thursday yeah so look forward to that please let us know what other films we should watch and review yes um more like this yep let us know and we're going after them because they're freaking awesome and they better stay that way too yeah don't suck yeah don't send us suck <laughs>